get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business today. I'm very excited. We have Caleb O'Dowd, who's one of the top direct response marketers. Caleb worked for three years shoulder to shoulder with the late Gary Halbert, a man widely considered one of the greatest direct response marketers and copywriters of his era. Caleb then moved on to start his own direct response business in the nutritional industry where he's created large volume marketing campaigns across multiple channels, which we will talk about. He and his brother John started multichannelmarketing.com where they help direct response companies optimize and grow their businesses in multiple channels such as direct mail, magazines, newspapers. He's bringing back magazines and newspapers online and more. Now, if you're listening to this, this is actually a very rare opportunity because Caleb stays under the radar and he's sort of like the mafia because you hear about him, but you never really see him. And I want to thank Sam Markowitz because probably if I didn't know Sam and Sam didn't introduce me, Caleb would never talk to me. So Caleb, thank you for joining me. <laughs> thank you very much, Jeremy. So Caleb, you know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask the question, what's been your lowest moment and how you push forward? Yeah, what's been my lowest moment and how I push forward? You know, I, I can't think of a particular lowest moment, but I do know, <laughs> you know, life is, is, uh, is, you know, you can have, I've, I've certainly had periods of time where nothing, you know, works, uh, you know, not just in marketing, not just in copywriting, but in life, you know, yeah. relationships, you know, friends, family, health, um, and, uh, I kind of believe that life is kind of like a peak and, and trough, you know, mm. there's ups and downs. Um, and I I guess uh, I'm aware of those phases, you know, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Um, I'm not sure if I've, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm aware of them. Maybe I'm a little better at dealing with them than I used to be. But my brother, John, really has... Uh, He's really wise behind, you know, beyond his years, and he's he's always been my my older brother and my mentor, and he's mm-hmm. uh, he has a lot of great philosophies, mm-hmm. and uh, one of them that I think serves me very very well, um, you know, when problems arise or when hard times hit or when, you know, on those times when I'm uh, <laughs> I'm in the trough of life. Yeah. He has this this uh, this concept of um, deal with the issue, not the emotion, and hmm. it served me very well. The emotion of 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 failures, the emotion, you know, whether they're business, copywriting, life, whatever, the emotion of failures, you know, can not serve you at yeah, all. Be paralyzing, uh, yeah. Yeah, they can be absolutely paralyzing. Um, but by focusing on the issue that needs to be fixed, resolved, overcome, surpassed, you kind of step out of the uh, poor me paralyzed position mm-hmm. and into a place of action where you can actually do something about it. And I have seen guys, um, you know, just devastated by failures. Mm. Um you know, real powerful, strong guys, <laughs> you know, wiped out by failures emotionally. Um, and I would say that, you know, if you're going to be in this business and you're going to be successful, you're going to have big failures. Mm-hmm. Everyone has. I know nobody, genuinely, I know no big successful guy, guru, or, you know, just, just a successful business guy that has not been exposed to tremendous you know failures right. and a lot of failure yeah. um, 
and uh, yeah. how you deal with that, how you deal with that, and how you overcome that, I think yeah. is 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 a lesson worth learning. And definitely for me in my life, yeah. my brother's wise advice of of dealing, you know, deal with the issue, not the emotion. Yeah. In other words, just take action yeah. to get started in the right direction, or correct something, or fix it. Takes me out of this poor me, or it wasn't that terrible, or how horrible it was place and puts me into a place of taking action yeah so and that's you know caleb what i love about these type of conversations with successful entrepreneurs because every single person says that and they have the struggles or the mistakes or the failures and you forget that because you see them as a successful person and you don't see all the trials and tribulations along the way and it just is a great reminder of to not beat ourselves up so much just to kind of bounce back because all these people, you know, had that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I really do believe, you know, like, uh, you know, Gary used to say just, you know, <laughs> I forget actually how he used to say it, but it was funny. 90% of success boils down to a pig, <laughs> piggish determination to never give up or something like that. I can't remember. Right. But anyway, like right. just never give up, you know, right. it's the guy who, uh, the guy who never gives up is usually the guy that's going to win at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. So, Caleb, what was one of those times that John had to remind you to focus on the issue, not the emotion? <laughs> um, regularly, I think, you know. <laughs> regularly? Yeah. What was know? the last time? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to put it, like, so I can picture what what the context is and like what the issue and the emotion was and how he, cause I think that's a powerful statement so I can wrap my, my mind around it with the specific example. Yeah. I would say past, past failures, you know, I mean, when you kind of work at a level where there's a lot of money on the line, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people looking over your shoulder. Um, you know, it's, it's a very intimidating scenario you know like if you're going to be a copywriter and if you're going to be doing deals with people um and you're going to be doing it at a high level you got to realize that you're you're on the chopping board there i mean you know the 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 really tough thing for copywriters to understand is that excuse me um you're always going to be measured you know very, very few people in this world are measured. That's the great you know? thing about copywriting direct response and then, and then maybe the yeah. not so good thing because you're held accountable, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's you, you. It's very easy to tie your self-worth up into that mm. decimal point, those conversions, you know, mm. um, <clears throat> because it's real, you know, it, it's real. Copywriters are measured. Business, you know, direct response marketers are measured. I mean, it, it, you're measured by a decimal point. I mean, it, it, you know, that's how tightly measured you are. Um, so it's it's very difficult to deal with, you know, with uh, with with that kind of <laughs> attention. There's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of people looking at you. There's a lot of people peering over your shoulder. There's a lot of of big plans, um, and just sometimes they don't go right, and sometimes they go really well. You know, sometimes mm. they go fantastic. Um, you know the you just have to learn to take the the good with the bad um and it, this was our conversation with sam as well i mean like even the best of the best um everyone has successes and I, again you know it's and, and everyone has failures uh so it's it's how you deal with those failures and yeah. you know those ways is is uh <laughs> you know deal with the issue not the emotion um you know if something isn't working you know, don't go and beat yourself up about it. Just go and fix it. Get it done. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that would have been an example. Uh, that kind of example is is uh, at least in the you know at least in the past was a very relevant. <laughs> so how you bounce back is you in, instead of beating yourself up or, or you identify you're beating yourself up, you will fix whatever the issue is at hand and you'll just focus on that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just just fix whatever needs to be fixed, you know. Um, Gary had this thing of, of if you're going to fail, fail quick and, and, and fail cheap, you know. So, uh, 
and it is a great philosophy of of, of marketing, you know. Um, but yeah, you know. So I mean, these days, I've really, you know, <laughs> I really try and fail cheap and fail fast, you know. Um, yeah, I guess I'm trying. I'm, I'm struggling to kind of come up with these examples for you, Jeremy. I don't. Uh, I, these things are not so specific for me. You uh, talk to your like you say, okay, here's I'm really kind of feeling beat up here, and you'll call your brother, or what? How does that look? Uh, or is it just you're <laughs> talking to him regularly? Uh, well, yeah, he's my business partner, yeah. so I talk to him every yeah. day. You know, I'm just sorry. curious, like, is there like there was a specific campaign like this one just went? I did not think it was going to go like that, and you'll call him on the phone and. And just be like, I don't want to do anything for a week because I hate myself from that. <laughs> no, no. It's oh, okay. Like, like, no, 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 no. I'm no. just wondering how that conversation goes. Um. Yeah, it's definitely not like that. Okay. I, I, yeah, it's not. It's not go hide in a hole for a week. <laughs> it's not like that at all. It's, you know, it's it's more about. Um, Okay, I mean, as it, as it relates to copywriting, I mean, it's, it's you know, in the past, like, I fail regularly, I fail recently, but I mean, now my failures are more calculated, you know, mm -hmm. like, for example, I had an ad, like, in the, in the heart space, so um, there's an appeal that I wanted to test out, but I knew it was a small appeal, like, like it's, you know, I knew that, like, statistically speaking, not that many heart patients are going to have that problem, however, I was curious to find out if there was a small percentage, would more of them buy, because they're probably not like being served in that manner um so um it's just one of those things that i wanted to test out so mm -hmm. you know i tested it out it didn't work you know um <laughs> and yeah it's like gosh you know i really wrote a great ad there and that particular thing didn't work out so you know I, yeah when you put a lot of effort into something and you put a there's like this disappointment right. um you know, but I, I again, I guess, like as I said, over time, I've kind of learned to internalize things mm. in a much different manner. Yeah. Um, I, you know, haven't had like, um, like maybe I haven't been emotionally devastated. Yeah. Maybe like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, you know, one thing that sticks out, and we were talking previously is, I mean, I'm not saying this is a low moment, but it's something I visualize as a starting point which is i forgot what you were talking about but you were talking about laying you know sleeping on a floor and no, no. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what i'm talking about to okay take, yeah, you know, well, uh, yeah paint okay. the picture for me there what was going on? <laughs> yeah you're good you're good if you remember that okay see i i probably have all of these experiences i just can't think of them but yeah, yeah you i blocked I, them uh, out you don't I want to think about them. it I'm just, I'm just too busy dealing with the issue not the <laughs> Um, I, uh, yeah, when I worked with, with Gary, um, so I, I, I was, you know, I went there for three weeks and it was my big shot. I had three weeks. That was it. Get in, get out. Um, and at the end of three weeks, he was like, look, you know, I see a lot of potential in you and I think you should stay here. I think you should come and, and, uh, and, and work with me, yeah. but I'm not going to do you any favors. You know, he's like, if you want to learn this thing, you got to learn it yourself, and you gotta, you gotta sink or swim. No, sorry, not learn this thing yourself. You gotta, you gotta, if you want to succeed, you got, it's going to be sink or swim. And again, another great, great lesson. Like, you know, it, it sounds harsh, but a great, great lesson because, um, without having so much on the line, you know, like Gary had this gun to the head. Um, philosophy on marketing it's like succeed or die and when you're in a succeed or die situation your approach to everything you do um, has this tremendous intensity around it um, you know and that's the the intensity that you need to succeed so um, you know his thing was uh, you know you're gonna rent an apartment overhead my apartment you're not going to have any furniture. You're not going to have any chairs. You're not going to have any anything. And if you want a bed, or you want a chair, or you want a pillow, or anything, you better get darn good at this game, and you better start earning this money yourself. Right. And so for like I don't know how many months, I slept <laughs> on the floor of the apartment using my 
jumper, my sweater as a pillow. Um, there was no furniture, no bed, no nothing. Mm. And eventually, <laughs> through like minor successes with him, um, like, hey, you know, this thing that we did that worked, here's a little bit of money. Um, you know, I went out and bought like a, a picnic table and chairs uh, <laughs> and put it in the apartment. And I was like, wow, this is great. You know, I got, <laughs> got a little picnic chair and table here. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah. yeah, and then it grew into like a pump-up mattress, and <laughs> right. and eventually, little by little by little, as I started to right. to uh, to succeed more and more, I was able to uh, put more and more furniture into the apartment. So, right. but yeah, like during that particular point in time, and he would put me in those situations as well, which was like, I mean, when I started doing direct mail, yeah. he, he never gave me any money, you know, he never like he, I had to earn it, so started out with like a thousand letters so uh, you know he would he, i would go to kinko's with him we would get the we would print out the the sales letter then we go buy envelopes and then we go buy a pen and then we go buy stamps and mm. i would come back with all of like the necessary ingredients to put a mailing out there mm. and i would lick the envelopes fold the, the sales letters mm. put them in there and we would dry like it would take so long um to do that and it's painful excruciating and just right. boring you know right. and uh, and but like my money was on the line John's money was on the line right. and we would go and put that mailing in the mail and that like that fear of like gosh is it going to work like am I going to get my money back here is it going to work right. uh, that pressure of having your own money on the line and, and your own you know, like it's it's everything. He just made me own everything. You know, it's yeah. like if you're going to succeed, it's going to be all your fault, and if you're going if you're going to fail, it's going to be all your fault as well. Mm. Like you, it's total ownership of everything. Yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, yeah, I lived I lived in a in a on a on a on the floor, um, right. alone, no nothing for like a few months there, and little by little, things <laughs> started to grow and. And uh, and earn <laughs> things got better, thank God. Yeah. So um, during that time, you know what was you know the the thing that kind of kept me going. I, I don't really know. It was the pressure of failure, the pressure of like having so much on the line, the pressure of the dissatisfaction of sleeping on the floor with no pillow. <laughs> right. That's a motivator. <laughs> That's a big motivator. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, and I think like, you know, Gary used to say, uh, you know, I'm never as good as when I'm about an inch away from going under. Right. That's when I'm the best. You'll you know? claw. Yeah. Yeah. You kick and scream and fight and claw your way back up that the totem pole of success. And and I, I understand that, you know, I understand that. And yeah. it, it is a wonderful thing, you know, to be put under that kind of pressure because you never yeah. know what you're capable of doing until yeah. you're really tested, you know. Yeah, Caleb, thank you for for sharing that. That's power. <laughs> that's powerful stuff. Yeah. Really, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So, on the flip side of things, what's been one of the proudest moments? Um, proudest moments, I think, would be. Um, Proudest moments, I think, would be probably being able to help um, family, hmm. like to be doing so well hmm. where you're able to send your parents, um, you know, on vacation hmm. to <laughs> some crazy country yeah. for a month or two or, yeah. you know, to be able to share in the good um, yeah. The good fruits of your hard work with the people you love, mm. I think, has probably been, and will continue to be, yeah. um, one of the the best things I think for me in this business for sure. Where would you send them? My brother John and I sent them to uh, Brazil mm. for, I think it was three months. They traveled. Wow, all that's amazing. Yeah, they didn't. Like, yeah. How'd you break that to them? Uh I don't know. I don't know. It was just. Uh, I mean, just, it's not like, oh, by the way, I'm sending you. you I mean, what was yeah, that conversation you, like? Where do you want to go? What would be crazy? 
what would be like a real crazy adventure for you guys? Mm. And just Brazil, I don't know. And they <laughs> they did it. They spent. Uh, they went down and, and traveled all around. They did had an, a, a, just a, a true adventure. You know, I mean, they're in their sixties, so it was just a, an amazing adventure for them to go mm. on and uh, have this crazy South American Brazilian. And they traveled. Actually, it wasn't just Brazil. They went to um, mm. they went to Argentina. They went to yeah. It was like several countries that they traveled mm. to. Uh, had just an amazing experience. So. Anytime there's a few uh, there's a few bottles of wine opened up back home, all those stories come out again, and it's it's, it's really nice. That's amazing. Know? Yeah. So, so, Caleb, I have one last question, but before I ask, where should we point people towards? Where should they check you out? Because there's only one follower on LinkedIn, and I can't find you on Facebook or anywhere else. So, where should uh, people? I'm on LinkedIn. I didn't even. <laughs> yeah, you have one one connection there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I have. I don't think I've ever even been on LinkedIn. But anyway, I am. Um, yeah, multichannelmarketing.com is is a great place to go. Okay. Uh, you know, if if any of your listeners are are interested in in learning about newspaper advertising mm. or getting started doing it or anything, um, you know, I'd be happy to to give these people uh you know like a a, a free strategy session if that's what mm. they were interested. Wow, in. that'd be valuable. Um, that'd be very generous. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, to get the, you know, to go to the website is multichannelmarketing.com. To uh, you know, anyone who's interested in signing up for a uh, a free strategy session can go to uh, multichannelmarketing.com forward slash newspaper call forward slash newspaper call, and uh, and I'd be delighted to talk with them about newspaper advertising if that's what they were interested in. Yeah, and only if you're very serious because. You're a busy man and limited <laughs> time. Please don't waste my time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we talked about a lot here, and I, this has been amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah, um, thank you. What should we leave people with? What should we leave? Yeah. People? What's what's um something now that they should think about? Since we did talk about a lot of different things with newspaper ads, copywriting, psychology. What do you? What final words uh, should yeah. stick out with with everything? Maybe get you know mentor the idea mm. of a mentor. Yeah, um, I really cannot convey how mentors have altered yeah. my direction in life. Yeah. You know, I have. Uh, been very very lucky to have had mentors really wonderful mentors in my life um you know my brother john gary several other um guys trainers mentors advisors um i really think that you know nothing could be more valuable in life mm. than finding the best person um in mm. the in the, the field in which you are trying to succeed in and having that person um, guide you and teach you and help you get there you know it's uh, I, I just you know nothing has been more valuable for me in my own particular life through mm -hmm. Gary you know I met um, you know many amazing people my best friend and business partner Sam Markowitz in between bouts of uh, uncontrollable laughter. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, actually, Sam is awesome. Yeah. Actually have the ability to get some work done. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I think that uh, Gary has, you know, altered my, my uh, you know, my destiny in life. And I think mm -hmm. any mentor will reshape you. You know, any good mentor in the area that you're trying to, you know, uh, achieve and emulate is going to reshape you, get you there in the fastest time possible, give you knowledge that would probably be very difficult for you to learn on your own, yeah. multiply the speed of achievement. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and it's not just copywriting, it's not just business, I mean, anything, relationships, you know, uh, health, you know, the idea of, of a mentor is, is very powerful. What lessons have Sam taught you? Oh, yeah, that's a that's a big 
That's a big topic there. Sam is next to my brother, John. I think Sam has probably had the most impact on my life. I've moved to more countries because of him. Mm. I've experienced more crazy things because of him. Um, you know what? I mean, in regards to what? Life, business, copywriting. I mean, I'm learning from him all the time. Yeah. Take wonderful. your pick, whatever, whatever sticks out. He seems to be wise beyond his years. That's what I find. He is, yeah. he is wise well beyond his years, yeah. And yet, he's still able to maintain <laughs> a wonderful childlike person. <laughs> well, maybe one, one life lesson from Sam and then one marketing business lesson. Um, okay. You know, Sam is a virtuous guy. He, he lives, uh, you know, via, you know, positive morals and virtues. Um, I think that he is a very, you know, uh, good person ethically and morally. There's very few people that I know in my life that, you know, focus on morals and, uh, you know, living a good life, being a good person. I think everyone is living life and just kind of life is happening to them. And Sam seems to be one of those people that, has, you know, kind of in control of the person that he wants to be and is, is, is growing in the directions that I think he wants to grow in. And, uh, you know, I find that inspirational. Yeah. I find that motivational. Uh, it's something that I think you know, the best lessons in life often come uh, through being around people as opposed to um, kind of being told something by mm. a person, you know. So Sam is one of the, in, in that regard, he's one of those people that kind of I get to watch and learn from. Yeah. What did you uh, see? What did you see him do that you're like, holy cow, this guy is one of the best people or moral person or whatever, whatever <laughs> words. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't like, again, I don't have these specific yeah. examples. I mean, I, I just know him as a person, you know. I mean, we've been friends for so long. We've, yeah. we've, uh, we lived, we've lived together. We've hung out together. We've, you know, I, I just know him as a person. I know what he's yeah. doing. I know what he's up to. I know what he's, the direction he wants to go in life. I know that through countless hours of conversation um, with him that, uh, you know, He's, he's just a, a moral person. He's just, mm -hmm. he's, you know, he's that type of guy. In business. Uh, yeah, what key advice has he given you in business? Um, key advice, you know, I don't know. I mean, we work together all the time, so I don't know. I guess not one key advice. I don't know. The, the, the concept, he's very big on framing, and I think mm. that that's, that's something that flew under the radar with me as it relates, like, I understand framing as it relates to copywriting. Sam takes it into every last <laughs> element of his life. Yeah. And, and, uh, and to see him apply that and for him to, to teach me that stuff, um, the importance of framing and positioning with everything in yeah. life. So what do you mean um, by framing? Framing, you know, I mean, you can... Uh, Framing, you know, the idea, like there's, there's always a, a way of best positioning yourself or others, you know, um, you know, you could, you could, you could say, hey, you know, you've got this, you're talking to your friend and you're like, hey, you know what, I, I met this guy, Caleb, he's a terrible person, you know, <laughs> um, that would be one frame and another frame would be like, hey, you know what, I met this guy, Caleb, and he's really cool and he's a nice person, that's another frame. Right, right. So, you know, taking the time to uh, understand that there is always a way of, of positioning um, gotcha. yourself in better ways, positioning, you know, the people around you in, other, in better ways, um, you know, doing, you know, positioning deals so that they're more rewarding for each and every person involved. Mm. Um, so many things, man. I yeah. mean, so many, yeah. <laughs> so many different ways in which that is applied. I mean, it's and, and in your personal life, you know, it's not just it's not just business, and uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a concept for life. I think a very very valuable concept for life. There's many ways that things can happen, and you can be in control of of how they should happen best. Um, so Sam is the type of person that that puts careful thought into yeah. how to position everything. Yeah. Caleb, this has been, you know, it's been an extremely 
amazing and valuable and i know you probably have russian special forces training to go to for two hours but um thank you so much you know Caleb, i really appreciate it thank you jeremy this was a uh, it was great talking to you yeah. always good talking to you and uh i appreciate the time yes thanks Speak Caleb. today listen take care thank you very much what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other side see life's like a peach if you find the sand right now i'm feeling like a hundred grand